guys, Chef Vinny here from Wetsuit Catering. We haven't posted a video in a while, but we're back today. We're going to show you how to make pierogies. If you're from northeastern PA, where I'm from, uh, those were something that you grew up on. Uh, people's grandmothers were making them out of their homes and selling them out the back door. Uh, Bodon Spinda, this recipe is for you. It'll make your mouth water. When we come back, I'll show you how to make the dough and get your filling ready. All right, guys, we're back. We have three cups of flour blend. If you watch the pizza dough recipe, uh, I explained how to mix that. We also have two cups of water with uh, a tablespoon and a half of salt in there. We're gonna combine this, make a well in your flour, and you're just going to start working the dough, the water and flour together. Pulling, as you're doing this, you want to make sure that you pull your flour from your inside edge. And eventually, you'll just fold, start folding that flour from the outside um, in. When we come back, I'll show you how to bring this dough together. Alright guys, so we brought the rest of the flour and worked it into our mix we actually had to add about another half cup um, now when you're working with flour it, it'll all depend on your humidity um, that day on the amount of moisture that you're adding to your mix but you're going to knead your dough until it all comes together um, once you have your dough kneaded together you're going to form a ball with it and you're going to set it off to rest on your countertop, covered, um, for about 30 minutes to a half hour. Um, while that's resting, I'm going to wash up, come back, and I'll show you how to put your filling together. All right, guys, so we're back. <clears throat> In our pot, we had three pounds of Yukon Gold potatoes, um, covered them with cold water, salted them well probably two tablespoons of uh, salt, um, brought them to a boil, cooked them until they were tender, um, drained them, then put them back on the stove uh, in an empty pot um, on low heat and just kept stirring them. And, let, and you wanna do that until all the steam, uh, until you don't see any more steam coming out of your pot. That'll give you a drier mix, okay? Once they cool down, you're going to take them um, and transform to your food mill. Um, if you don't have a food mill, you could use a stand mixer or hand mixer to, to do this. But I, I think that uh, these food mills give you a fluffier uh, mixture for your dumpling. So once you put it in here, you just turn this hand crank and it slices and then mashes the potato and then it's going to go down into your bowl. If you see how fine that is, that's why I didn't peel the potatoes. The uh, Yukon Gold uh, skins are thin anyway. I'm going to continue doing that. Once I have these potatoes all riced, I'll show you, come back and show you what ingredients we're going to add to your potatoes for the rest of your filling. Alright guys, so we have all of our potatoes run through the food mill. Um, we're going to add, this is going to be our basic mix, and then I'm going to show you a variation here at the end. So we have three teaspoons of uh, kosher salt and one and a half teaspoons of black pepper. Two cups of white cheddar cheese and one egg to help with some binding. And then you're just going to mix these ingredients up until they're well combined. And once you have your mixture combined, I'm going to take half of this and I'm going to transfer it over to another bowl. And then I'm going to continue with 
some additional ingredients that you can add to spice your parajes up when we come back. All right, guys, so into our mixture, that potato mixture, we added five pieces of thick cut uh, smoked applewood smoked bacon. We also added a half a cup of caramelized onion. And to the uh, bacon, we had two Fresno chilies. And then I also added some of this roasted garlic. Um, I just take the top off of a head of garlic, cover it with some olive oil, salt and pepper, roast it in the oven, 375 for about 25, 30 minutes. Comes out, nothing better if you take that, spread that on a piece of bread. Save that oil, spread it on your uh, garlic bread for the Sunday sauce. Um, but I also added that to our mixture. When we come back, I'm going to show you how to roll out your pierogi dough and put the put the filling into the pierogies. All right, guys, we're back. So what I did is I took our dough, I divided it into quarters. Uh, to round, you're going to start with a triangle shape. Uh, when you start to form your dough, fold your uh, corners in, help give you a, a square to start working with. So you're going to continue working your dough until you have a, a sheet, about a 9 by 13 sheet of pasta. And I'm going to continue working my dough until I get to that consistency. And once I do, we'll be back to show you how to feel, fill your pierogi and seal it. All right, guys, so we have our pasta sheet rolled out to the 9 by 13 like we wanted. And then I'm just using a uh, wide mouth canning lid. Um, putting it in some flour, uh, and then just pressing down and cutting out my uh, rounds for the pierogies. I'll show you how to fill one. You're gonna take your... All right guys, so we're back. We have our pasta sheeted to the nine by 13. And as you can see, um, it allows me to get 12 uh, rounds. Now if you want to take this dough and you want to save it, set it off to the side, um, you can do that and then re-roll it. Um, I'm just going to set these off back here and I'm going to show you how to uh, assemble one of these pierogies. So once you have your round cut out, just going to flour both sides and I'm going to give it a, another little roll just to get it a little bigger it'll make it a little easier for stuffing once you have it to about a three inch diameter four inch diameter you want to take a little bit of water and you want to brush the outside edges That'll help your pierogi seal. You're gonna take about a tablespoon of your potato mixture. You wanna set that in the middle of your pierogi. I switched to pierogi because as we were doing this, my wife said, you know, people probably don't even know what a pierogi is. So, to make her happy, I, I'm saying pierogi now. I hope everybody knows what they are. Seal it down, just like if you were making a little stromboli, a little calzone. And then you wanna get your, take your fork, dip it in some flour, and then you're just going to seal that edge. And you're gonna do that all the way around. Seal that. Okay, and when we come back, I'll show you how to cook these. All right, guys, so we're back. <clears throat> I'm going to show you how to cook these pierogies two different ways. First way, just simple boil. This is the way my daughter likes them. 
And then I have some caramelized onion that will stick on the top of those. We're just going to let that come to a boil. Cook. <clears throat> Once they uh, float to the top, you're going to let them cook another two to three minutes. Make sure that your filling is warm inside. Um, the next step that you could do with this, I'll show you when we come back. Right, guys, so I told you the second way. So two, three minutes after they come to a boil, they rise to the top. We're going to drain these really well. Now, in this pan here, I have the oil and butter mixture medium low heat I'm going to turn it down to low now that I'm getting ready to add these and you're just going to add them right into your fat you're going to let these fry another two three minutes on each side get a nice brown on them um, now at that point you're done salt pepper if you wanted to you could a little bit of sour cream caramelized onion some chive you have a great dinner all right, guys, so here's our plated pierogies, some caramelized onions, some sour cream. Let's give these a taste. These were the bacon, the loaded pierogi. A little bit of those caramelized onions, some of that sour cream. Mm. Right away, you get the bacon, the onions, the smoothness of those potatoes. They're like a, cutting into a pillow. I'm telling you, try this recipe out. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Like us, share us. Member Chef Vinny, Wetsuit Catering. Thanks for watching.